Hi everyone, I am back this year for another gift guide video. Can I just say thanks so much for clicking on the video. Um, if you're a long time follower, I haven't made one of these videos, well I haven't made a video on YouTube for just over a year when I last did my gift guide for 2022. Um, and I think in that video I promised that I would be making videos this year and then that didn't happen. So I apologise, but thank you so much for clicking on this video. So many of you have messaged me in October and November asking me if I was going to make the video. And to be honest, it wasn't in the pipeline. This year has been really, really tough. Um, if you're new here, my name is Gemma and I have four boys. I have a six-year-old Oscar and I have triplet boys Sebastian, Ashton and Hendrix who are three and life has been pretty tough this year to be honest. One of the hardest years of my life so far. Um, I'm ending the year as a single mum. Uh, I have had my own health issues. If you are again been here a while, you will have known in 2020 I had um, was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and had surgery, and I have just been told that I have another two tumours and will need more surgery. Um, so I have that in the pipeline, and also my little boy Hendrix has had a number of health issues this year and has been in and out of hospital. So with all that said, this year has been super, super tough and um, I've dropped the ball on a lot of things, um, trying to spin too many plates and the one plate I just focused on was being a mum. So without crying, <laughs> um, so that's why I haven't been on YouTube. But my plan is to return. Um, I miss this community. It's been so supportive to me in my motherhood journey and to be honest, I need that right now. So anyway, um, in the spirit of Christmas, let's leave that to one side and um, yeah, so this is my gift guide video for 2023 for my four boys, six year old and three three year olds. Um, when I look at their things here, it looks like a giant pile, but I just want you to remember that there is four children and I've kind of stuck to, I think, four categories. So this year they've got like their stocking, which will have their little bits and pieces, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but then I've focused on a game, uh, Oscar particularly at six is really into games now, board games, and the three-year-olds, although Oscar at three year old, three years old probably wasn't as much, well, maybe that just was because I didn't introduce it enough, but they're now seeing him play with lots of board games and are interested and want to play. So I have done a lot of research about like games, like family board games, and games that are suitable more for younger children that also like adults and older children will enjoy as well. So I've tried to get kind of games that will appeal. So I've got them a game, um, I've got them a puzzle. I tend to always get them a puzzle because it's great independent play. Um, game, puzzle, and then something that they want, something from their list. And what's the other category? Oh, and just something that's maybe not a toy. Um, doing what I've done and I now have a business where I run play groups. Um, we have a lot of toys, so trying to think of things that weren't necessarily toys, but things that they would get a lot of use out of as well. So without rambling on too much more, let's get into what uh, my boys are getting for Christmas this year. So first up, I'm just going to start quickly with their stockings. So this is just all the little tiny bits and pieces. Um, so it kind of goes without saying we've got some chocolate. Uh, just a um, tube of Smarties and then gold coins. I think in previous years I've bought like one bag of coins and split it between the triplets um, with them being younger but now I think at three and a half they're getting their whole bag of chocolate coins. I got those ones from M&S. Um, this is a stocking filler but I, so I don't think it's actually going to fit in their stocking so it might just have to go in their like their big sack. But I got these from TK Maxx. They are play foam. And they're kind of that kind of sticky. I don't know what are they even made of? What are they made of? This is squish it. Squish it. Think it. Hmm. No mess though it says. <laughs> um, but you can kind of form it into different shapes. So they've got one of those each and I'm just looking now I thought they were all the same 
but they're not. There's this one, and then there's this one, and I've actually got three of these ones. So that will be the triplets, and then Oscar will get this one. So there's some play foam. I just wanted something that was kind of a bit more creative. Um, then I got off Amazon this these rolls of um, road tape. Um, Hendrix had some of this when he was in hospital. So they kind of just tape it on like his tray and then you can use it little dinky cars. But um, it came in a pack of four, diff four different kind of tape. So one's like train, one's like a wiggly road, one's like a racing track road and one's just a regular road. So I get one of those each in their stocking. Um, they'll also get a bath bomb. So I picked these ones up because I was walking past and they, they had four different designs. So they've got a tree, a Rudolph, a snowman and Santa's hat. And then the last thing I think that's going in the stocking, yes, um, is one of these color reveal uh, Hot Wheels. So this is, um, sorry, is it gonna focus? So these are, you get two little cars inside and then when you put them in water, they change color. And I don't know if the top of the tins represent anything, but I've got, seem to have two pink and two green. I don't know if that's, they start off as a color and then you dip them in and then all the colors kind of appear. appear. So maybe they're pink to start with and green to start with and then once they're in water, they appear. I can't remember where I saw them, but I want, but I found them and I was like, they're perfect. So they've got those and that is their stocking. Okay, so first up, Oscar actually asked for Snakes and Ladders, but I'd already bought him some other games. So my budget was kind of gone, but I did find um, this little travel, Snakes and Ladders, which is like a magnetic one. And I remember having these as a kid or one of these for like a plane journey. So it's just like one of those little fold out ones, snakes and ladders. So I might probably just put that in his stocking. Um, and so the games I had already bought him because they were um, discounted. <laughs> so I bought them and they were discounted is Battleship. Um, I think it's pretty much a classic and a good play game for us to play. Our routine at the moment is um, the triplets go to bed at seven and Oscar goes to bed at half past seven. So he has this half an hour bit of time that's just me and him. So um, we tend to play a game in that time and I'm getting a little bit bored of games we already have. So I was like, this is also a gift for me so that I'm not having to play the same games over and over again. Um, so yeah, Battleship and it comes in a nice little case. And then I got him Monopoly Junior. I feel like he is ready for no Monopoly. And this version, is it's got a two-sided board so there's like a really simplified version and then there's a slightly more advanced version so I was wondering potentially could the triplets join in on the on the um, level one version it says that they've got to be able to count to five which the triplets can do um, and I think there's no money involved in the first version as far as I'm aware. And then the second version you use like the notes. So anyway, we'll see, but Oscar will definitely enjoy Monopoly. And he has, um, he's seen it somewhere because he actually asked for it or asked about it. So those are Oscar's games. And then for the kind of more family friendly for everyone to play, um, one of the triplets will be getting this game, which is called The Fuzzies. And it's essentially like Jenga, but with pom-poms. So there's like this little cup you that you lift off this tower of pom-poms and then you have to pick a pom-pom and stick, stack it on top um, without obviously knocking the whole tower over. So it's a bit easier for younger children is what I could think, because it's not like having to, you know, like in Jenga, you're gonna kind of poke the, the wooden piece through and it's a bit more um, needing some fine motor skills that they might not have, where I feel like they might be more able to enjoy this. So yeah, so one of them is getting the fuzzies. And then the next game I got was called Dig In. So this is an I Spy fun for nimble fingers. And there's three, three different games apparently you can play. So essentially it's all these pieces. And I think you get cards 
and it's like the first person to find the piece in the pile that matches what it says on the card. So on here it says, find something you'd eat, find something with feet, find something beginning with B, find something beginning with F, find these six things. So there's three different games. So there's like, find something with feet, that kind of game, find all the things that are on the card, that kind of game, and then maybe a slightly more advanced version that Oscar would be more able to play is like starting letter, kind of I spy, traditional I spy. So I thought it's good that it's got like multi levels that they'll all enjoy. So one of them will receive that. It's really funny having triplets when you're like buying presents and you don't actually know which one you're buying it for. Does anybody else with multiples have that? That they're just kind of buying <laughs> group presents and then they'll kind of lay them out and be like, okay, you can have that one, you can have that one. I don't know. Is it a multiples thing? Is it just having literally more than one child? I don't know. Anyway, I have these moments of thinking about life. Um, and then the next game I bought is another classic. It's Screwball Scramble, if you remember this from being a kid. We never had it, but I do remember people having it. It's essentially like a little maze that the ball has to go on, but you have to use all these kind of buttons and functions on the bottom to make the ball go around the maze. Um, I was wanting to buy Mousetrap, but I feel like they're too young for Mousetrap, but I don't think, I think they'll be okay with this. And when I was purchasing it, um, you know when it says like, you might also like this. Well, there's apparently like level two there's like another screwball scramble level two that you can attach to um, the first one and it just makes a longer maze. Um, so I thought it would get more longevity with having the two with the four boys. So I got screwball scramble the original and level two. Is it called level two? Crazy ball level two. Yeah, so it's just got extra things you've got to get the ball through. But I thought it'd be really fun on Christmas day. Um, for us all to have a go at that. So those are the games category. So I feel like I've done quite well with that. And then um, I'll move on to the toys that aren't toys, or the gifts that aren't toys section. Um, so Oscar asked for tools, real tools. Um, and again, I'd already pretty much bought all of these presents by the point that he'd asked for that. So I wanted to find just something really small, really. So I just got him this little kit. Um, it's kind of got pliers, um, pliers, kind of um, a multi-tool thing for um, screwdrivers and things, and then like an Allen key set. So I think he's thinking he's gonna get like a saw and a hammer and nails and stuff, which maybe we can add to it in time and get him a box, like a proper toolbox and everything. But I think that will do him at the moment. He'll be able to do like some fixing of things with that. So that's his non-toy present. And then for the triplets, I've got them umbrellas. Um, and this is mainly because Oscar has one of these. I don't know if I've put it in a gift guide before, if it was a birthday or a Christmas present he got it for, but he has one of these from the same brand and they are color changing umbrellas. So um, I got three different designs, two of which I have here to show you <laughs> and one of which um, my parents have because I couldn't get it sent to Ireland. They didn't have the third version I wanted. So they're gonna bring it over when they're over for Christmas. Um, so this is jungle, this is under the sea, and then I have construction. So they're getting a color changing umbrella. Did I explain that? Also when you go out in the rain, the pictures on the umbrellas turn different colors. So that's pretty cool. Oscar has a space one and they have loads of different designs. And then I'll move on to puzzles. So, um, it's really hard buying gifts like this when you're thinking of three three children the same age is the dilemma I had, especially with puzzles, is I didn't want to buy like all these puzzles for the same ability that they were then going to grow out of and not use. So I've kind of gone up. Um, so they might not be able to do it. Sorry, just reaching out the camera to grab them. Uh, so they might not be able to do them independently just yet, but I feel like I'd rather that and then they grow into them than them be too easy now. Because Okay, my camera is not happy about being dragged out of a drawer. <laughs> so it's taking me forever to film this because it keeps cutting out. 
I'll have to fiddle with it afterwards, but I'm just gonna race through to try and get this finished now. I think the, I was talking about the puzzles when it cut out, so I'm gonna redo the puzzle bit, and then I've got one more thing to show. Okay, the first puzzle I got for the triplets is this puzzle by Jeannaud, which is a lovely brand for toys and games and things, puzzles particularly. I think they're French, Jeannaud. Um, but I got this kind of busy town puzzle. It's 36 pieces, age four plus. So it's something that they can kind of grow into. Um, but I love it that each vehicle in the town is a different color. So if you're trying to get a child to complete a bigger puzzle, puzzle independently, this is great because you can say, look, can you find all the purple pieces? And then if they can find pieces that all have purple, then they should be able to complete the bus. And then if they can do each vehicle, then they can kind of complete the whole puzzle together rather than having a puzzle that's kind of all very similar. It's harder. So having those different colors makes it much easier for them. And I think Oscar will enjoy this as well, even though it's probably way less pieces than he needs. Um, but he'll enjoy kind of creating this as well with his brothers. So that's the first one. Um, the next one is a magic puzzle, which I thought is nice that it adds an extra element. So this is a pirate ship. I think they also do different pictures, um, but they have these like little black circles all over the puzzle that when you, they're like heat activated. So when you rub them, they reveal like a little secret. So like hidden treasure or things like that. So I thought that would be um, interesting for them. So this is 50 pieces, age four to eight. So again, something that they can kind of grow into. And then the last puzzle for the triplets is this tracks floor puzzle. It is 48 pieces and I think it's huge. Like, is that the piece size of the pieces? Is that the size of the pieces? I mean, I think it's quite big. It basically makes these concentric circles that you can make either independently from each other or create like this big kind of circular puzzle. Um, the outer circle is the alphabet and the inner circle is like an underwater numbers one to 10. So it's got that educational element, but then it's also got these little wind up vehicles. So once you create the two circles, they have like a little groove in the puzzle pieces that the little wind up vehicles can travel around. And I've just purchased actually for the the boys first of December box. I'm actually filming this on the 2nd of December. Um, I purchased them something very similar. So I'll add this into all the links that I put in. But this is Santa's Christmas journey and it does something very similar. So it comes with a little sleigh. And then on each page, there's like a groove that the sleigh can kind of ride around on. So I know they're gonna enjoy that puzzle because they've really enjoyed this all day yesterday, fighting over it, essentially. Um, so, whoop. so they'll definitely enjoy that. And with these, they do all different versions. There's a Christmas one, but then they also do like trains and ladybird nature one and things like that. There's, you get like a little ladybird that runs around the nature thing. So they're a really good idea if you haven't ever seen those. But I thought the puzzle was really cool because it kind of adds the educational element as well because the boys particularly Hendrix is loving counting um they're probably not at the alphabet stage but we uh, Oscar can definitely help them with that um and then talking of Oscar so his puzzle I got from Jeannaud as well he is desperate for like more pieces of a puzzle so this is two puzzles in the box and it's an 100 piece and a 200 piece age six plus so that's perfect for him and it is um a cruise ship so you get two puzzles i think the day puzzle is slightly bigger pieces so like double the size so they're 100 pieces and these are 200 pieces so um you get like a day a, a cruise ship in the day and a cruise ship in the night where you can kind of it's like a cut through so you can see what people are getting up to so he'll love that and it comes in a really nice kind of gift case as well so those are the puzzles and then there's just one extra thing that kind of doesn't fit in any kind of category that Oscar's kind of getting as an extra again another retro toy is a spirograph I got this in a um, huge discount so I thought I'll just pick it up for him because he's massively into art and craft he has turned into a child who has no interest in sports or any kind of I mean I've offered him everything from drama to dance to gymnastics to football to rugby to all the kind of Irish sports as well no interest whatsoever but he loves art so he goes to an art club and I thought he'd like this so um I 
think I ordered him some pens as well. I have no idea where they are. I've probably got a box of gifts somewhere already. What did I do with those pens or did I not order them? Do you remember? This, this, these videos are always really handy for me because I kind of get to like put everything out and realize if there's any gaps before actually that day when I'm wrapping them. So yeah, I did order some like colored pens I thought to go with it. But anyway, Spirograph. And then I did just pick this up for him because he is obsessed with polar bears and I saw this in Primark for, what was it? Eight euro. Um, as I was going to the tills. So I bought him that and I probably, um, in the interest of fairness, also pick the triplets up, something like this as well. And then the final category is something that they actually asked for. So something from their list. Um, I mean, on their list, they did write puzzles and things, but that's because I was kind of highly influencing it. Um, so they've all written um, down something from Playmobil. Oscar got some Playmobil for his birthday this year and it's got like lots of tiny pieces in it which I thought oh gosh he'll have to play with that on his own but actually the triplets have really enjoyed it. I don't think it's necessarily aimed at age three. I'm looking at the boxes I can't actually see an age on them um, because of the tiny pieces but as opposed to Lego which Oscar also loves and the triplets are too young for if they try and play with Lego obviously bits fall off and then we can't find the tiny piece and then the vehicle doesn't work anymore whereas these things um are a bit more robust so sebastian uh sebastian one of our triplets um asked for the police gp which he calls it so he saw this in a toy shop so this is um the city action version of playmobil so it comes with the police jeep a trailer and a speedboat on the back but they're gonna love it so sebastian asked for the police jeep let me just lean and grab the other things they're too far away uh right um oscar asked for the police van so that's what he is getting his was um kind of half the price of the other ones which is why he got those kind of additional um gifts as well the budget was the same for all of them so he asked for the police jeep um and there was another emergency service oh yes and hendrick no ashton asked for a lifeboat which is this i don't think it's actually a lifeboat i think it's like a firefighting boat but he called it a lifeboat again he saw it in a toy shop so um but it comes with does it come with the boat the four by four and the little jet ski thing as well so he kind of gets three vehicles in one and then the final gift i can't show you the front because they're stuck my address on the front they literally posted it in the packaging i forgot to click that option where it's like this is a gift don't post it in the packaging and it was on the front doorstep so i had to run in and like hide it but this is um this isn't the city action version this is the family fun version this is for hendrix he wanted a speedboat so i suppose you can kind of see here it comes with again a, like a four by four a trailer and a boat a bit like sebastian's police version but um, not police, it's more like holiday vibes. So they're each getting a Playmobil as their kind of gift that they wanted. So that is everything for Christmas 2023, I think, unless I see anything random on last minute, but that's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. As always, I'll try and link everything down below if I can. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you again really soon. Let me know what your kids are enjoying at the moment and it's really good to fill the comments with ideas for um other people to have a look at as well so if there's something that you really think you've hit the nail on the spot for a gift for whatever age your child is pop it in the comments what age your child is and what you've bought because it's really helpful as like a bank of information for other people as well and also just let me know how you've got on this year i'd love to know so thanks for watching thanks for clicking on the video thanks for returning from my channel i really really appreciate all the support you have always given me and i will see you again soon 
Bye.